Uh, the audio... Probably turned the game down a little bit. Just to make sure that other people's Discord can be heard past it. Okay. I don't know if I want a controller for this or not. Guess I'll find out. Uh, first person camera. I'll use a controller then. Oh yeah, this is a very controller game. Further training. Activating automatic assistance. Stand by. Uh, uh, assistance? I suppose I could use some pointers. <laughs> oh, okay. What is that? Left trigger, move forward, backward with a little bumper, and boost. Okay. All right, cool. Really simple controls so far. Let's begin by shooting targets. Well, that seems easy enough. Hmm. This is pretty interesting looking. I get the impression that the computer is going to be a sassy piece of shit. I'm also hearing a bit of my voice. The next targets have shields. First, use the pulse laser. Is this stream through uh, through Discord? Down, That's use weird. Use the gun to inflict greater hull damage. That's uh, very okay. strange. Understood. You sure it's not through the stream? I'm, I'm sure I got the stream muted right now. That's odd. Because I don't know how that would be happening. I don't either. Yeah, I, I just heard the I don't targets. either. Set a target lock before shooting so the missiles can home in. Hmm. Uh. Yeah, I also just heard the um. Okay. It might be that we're in a call instead of a room. Yeah, you know, maybe. Because that's the only thing that's different that I can think of. It appears as if you're. Because you know, it's it's less less high quality. It's more one on one. Aim towards it and hold steady to leave the orbit. After each transit, your jump drive requires a cooling down phase. As soon as it is ready for another jump. Try oh no! You phase. know what? I figured out why. Hi. Hi. My mic boom was up. That would probably explain it. It would. Alright, where's the jump target? He wants me to go to a jump target. Oh, you aim at it and you just hold steady and it, and it charges the drive. Cool. You didn't this... update what you were streaming, by the way. Oh no, I didn't, did I? Fuck me. In the deciduous tree. At some point here, I just need to give you access rights to my Twitch so you can do that for me. <laughs> oh. This is not Super Mario 64. At some point here, I ah, I can nope. hear myself. I don't want to hear myself. I want to edit this. Why won't you let me edit this? Twitch, hello? It said it. It logged me out. This is the best stream I've ever done right now. <laughs> Let's play Twitch settings. I'm shitting an entire brick. Okay, Everspace. Wow, this. Wow, this is this is such a difficult game, man. I mean. Jeez, is Shut it, the is it fuck hard up. Dark Souls? <laughs> uh, I need to choose a I need to choose a destination. Destination. Up. Top, middle, down. Uh top. Let's go top. Hey. Oh. 
Let's go. Whoa. As you can see from your oh. fuel gain, you get a free a uh, Janus Godskin for should aim to refill the junk drive. Twitch Prime, yeah. There is a mineable asteroid nearby. Shoot at it to extract fuel. Mineable asteroid. How do I know which ones are mineable? No. Oh, because it marked it on my. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm smart. This is this is a very pretty game. It looks great. The graph. I don't even have the settings up that high, and it looks fantastic. Shoot at it to extract fuel, so it operates a bit like No Man's Sky. Fix something. Ah! Destroy it. Is key to survival in the well, now to wait the, uh, the orbit, five seconds to find out what you screamed at. For I tapped things up forward and... Okay, let's try it out. <laughs> and accidentally ran into something? Almost. Located a container at some distance. Okay, yeah, yeah, that, that would have given me a startle as well. It's located a container. I have to shoot at the container. Pulse laser versus beam laser. Mm, rapid fire, meaning you could take pot shots, but a beam weapon would probably be something that you need to keep focused on something for a long time. have a free slot to install it. Decide for yourself whether you want to equip or salvage it. I equipped it and salvaged my old one. And upgrading your equipment. It appears, however, that we have exhausted our possibilities here. I suggest advancing to the next location. Uh, jump point. Hey, and we're off. Okay, let me mess with the volume mixer a little bit more. Just keeping an eye on things, wanting to make sure that you're coming through over the game, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, only one destination available. So this is like a uh, Starfighter FTL. Yeah, I like that. I can tell. It's really cool looking. Okay, G and B, I'm guessing, are friendly? Uh, you also can apparently upgrade your uh, shit on the map. Do you reckon there's anything salvageable on this freighter? Probably, but I would not advise it as it may draw unwanted attention. Hmm. Well, that looks like a. Uh, That's just what I need. It looks like one hell of a fight happened here. Whoa. What am I picking up on the broadcast channel here? The Okar are a reptilian race with a tendency towards reactive behavior. They are indigenous to the cluster, and the Colonials uninvited guests. Distrust runs deep. I see you are improving. I'm getting the feel of things. Holy shit! That was tough. And the issue I see with the uh, beam weapon is it doesn't go through shields that quickly. It goes through shields quickly enough. Like, it's still faster than the Gatling gun. Uh, I'm guessing I'm not about to get any great big thank yous from the convoy I just assisted, am I? You might. No, the 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 pulse lasers went through shields faster. I just wanted to try the beam weapons. Yeah. Let's do a scan. Oh shit! This could be a sticky situation here. 
Multiple hostiles incoming. So many of them. Oh, I need to go. Do something about these drones. Oh, boy. So the Elkar did not enjoy me setting off a signal probe. What's this mm. mining outfit I'm registering? Brady and Brunt Prospects. Corporate Behemoth and sole legitimate operator in the demilitarized zone. Their monopoly has ensured unchecked expansion. You will Kinda fucked up your ship. And mining drones frequently. They were aggressive. Less than please. Now I know what that looks like, though, when they're warping in. Extracted raw materials. These are essential for crafting and upgrading, but you will require much more. I'm looking for the fuel gauge, but I'm not seeing anything. Upper right. It's only oh, yeah, okay. the the green gauge on my crosshair is a. Uh, energy gauge so like local boost and stuff whoa a key ship component is damaged it is recommended you fix it before your next encounter if you say so okay good to know that that can happen hmm. i'm not expecting to get very far this is like my very first run you know yeah wow look at the effect on the uh consoles in my ship now that it's like yep. really heavily damaged, that's really cool. Oh boy, your light missiles got fucked. Yeah, I'm not thrilled. Well, you're supposed to be able to craft with the things you can get here, like in space. Yeah, I'm kind of looking for more materials before I jump out. Oh, and your weapon overdrive got fucked, too. It's better now. Oh, oh, it's based on energy levels? Yeah, it is. Okay. I want that. I don't want to run into the cave wall, but I do want the crystal I'm mining. Crystals fully mined. One new item can be crafted. Ah! Okay, I can do this here. I. Uh... Shit. <laughs> uh. Can I upgrade my shield? I almost have- I need one more crystal. I know I can get another crystal and upgrade my shields here. Um... Hi, Joe. Wow, you need nanobots to repair shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck getting all that shit. Yeah, I'm thrilled. Oh, is- There's this container. Processors. Those are probably useful. I'm trying to find the rest of these crystals. They're somewhere around here. Oh, they're there. Nice. So... Whoa. Flying through this asteroid with no health is really, like... <laughs> <laughs> Freaking me out, man. Huh, the uh, friends let uh, the what viewer list rather is down for me. It says I'm the only one here. Not even seeing any chat. Nobody's saying anything. I got a Steam message. <laughs> ah, <laughs> fucking, <laughs> fucking Joe. I think he's upset because I didn't remember to send him a link. Uh, interceptors inbound. We should probably not hang around and find out what that means. Yeah, it seems 
seems like it might be a bad idea. Uh, an unfortunate one, anyway. Yeah, so it works like FTL. There's a bunch of different parts to each sector, and then when you reach the last part, you can jump out. Alright, let's upgrade the shields, because I get the feeling I'm going to take a lot of damage. I can build a new light missile. are the primary method of travel between systems. These were built by Grady and Brunt prospects for their mining drones to reach areas more efficient. Eh. Okay, thanks for the introduction. Now you want me to use this? It is the only way to the next sector. So, yes. Alright. My missiles are still down. Fucking... Ah! Really? Did you just get blown up? Yeah, I tried. I mean, you did. You, you're doing. You're doing the dog fighting thing well. Just you know. That was that was tough. It's a tough game. Okay. Yeah. Perks and upgrades are available. Yeah. Remember, constantly updating, constantly. Getting a little bit better. Yeah, you get a little bit of. A little bit of money. In... Okay. Uh. Kind of looking over this. I want the map upgrade, I think, first. And I want... Oh, I can't fully upgrade the map yet. Well, that's not good. I see how it works now. Okay. Let me see what these other ships are. Look at this sexy thing. Oh, you have to buy the other ships. I get it now. So you can get a kind of a gunship. Nice. You get kind of a scout ship. Also nice. But you start with just the interceptor unlocked. Whoops, I hit back. I didn't mean to hit back. <laughs> Alright. Well. Let's give it a shot. See what we can do. Scout ship is the scout ship really. This time, this time I'll make it. I mean, you know, just the tiny little bubble. <laughs> yes. too, you know, it almost looks like a, almost looks like a Tie Fighter. All right, jump drive coordinates created. Not hostiles. This time, this time I'll... Oh, wait, wait, wait. You mean these characters are being 
cloned or something? I don't know. <laughs> I I don't know anything more about this game than what you know than what you've seen. I ran into an asteroid. Alright, that drone needs to go before I focus on the fighter. Fuck. Hey. Missiles are not super effective when you're in the middle of an asteroid field. But they can come in handy. <laughs> Alright. Grab oh, yeah, the... I just saw that I just saw that asteroid impact. You really made, made a real asteroid out of yourself. Alright. You're a real fucking joker, aren't you? I try. Oh, there's some mineable ore over here. Should hit that up before I use the jump gate. One new item can be crafted. That's probably a spare missile. Um, I'm gonna go investigate that large asteroid before I jump out. I mean, first sector, so probably there isn't a whole lot here, but... Worth looking at, right? Yeah, there's some crystal over here. Alright. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa! Okay. This is, a, this is getting interesting. Oh? This is the one downside of Twitch. They, they they offer a lot of great things, but I really, really wish I could be seen. I know. Believe me, if there was some way around it, Honestly, I know of considering. I know of a slight way around it, but. I know that, uh, what was it? Hitbox? Hotbox? Hotbox.tv? <laughs> I mean, it's a, it's a very specialized service. I think it was Hitbox. It's Hitbox. Yeah. I'm just laughing because Hotbox.tv. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Credits transport. Independent operators with varying affiliations. Oh, it's, it's like a treasure galleon on, on Assassin's Creed 4. Yeah, it's, it's only. I have no reason to antagonize it because it's surrounded by friends. <laughs> well, choose to engage in a spot of piracy. I could. But that would be tremendously stupid. <laughs> Under my current situations. Okay, clone smuggling. So yeah, you're you're basically ending up being clones of clones of clones. Isn't that how the Grenier started? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. But the uh, that th that is an interesting thing because I think that's like the first time in canon that someone in, in a roguelike dies, comes back, and then and, dies and again. And knows what happened. I yeah. I liked the Prince of Persia approach. <laughs> It's like, wait a minute, that's not really quite how that went. <laughs> and the the most interesting part about that I always felt was the fact that considering how many times he's gone through all this shit, it's honestly hard for him to know. Maybe it's worth a risk. So stumbled upon an outlaw base. Ooh, nice. Gonna bring out some that good old-fashioned vigilante justice. Scatter gun. Oh, it's a shotgun. A space shotgun. Yeah, I could replace it with. I could replace my Gatling gun with it. And it strikes me that it's 
it's probably really good when you're like right up against someone but i'm not sure how good it would be at range and that's generally when you where you want to be engaging someone so far anyway i'll give it a shot or uh Yeah, it's got like half the range. Yeah, we'll scrap it. Something else here. Yeah, 367 I mean, like, credits. In something a lot lighter, like the scout ship, that or, probably would be a fucking awesome thing. Remember, I'm flying an interceptor. Well, yeah. Where was the base at? He mentioned an outlaw base. The AI did. I like the AI voice acting. He feels very sassy. <laughs> the AI basically is like, okay, you're here, and you're going to die. A lot. Yeah, the AI has about the same estimate of my survival chances as I do. Whoa, check this thing out. Whoa, dude, what the fuck? I really don't have time to sightsee right now. That's a lot of enemies. Ow! That dude rammed me! He didn't even give you a dinner first. <sighs> Got him. <clears throat> whoop, whoop, whoop. Now, the worst part is that I'm seeing all this space combat, and, and I've got Shield. it muted, so I don't end up hearing myself. Shieldbreaker while... misses. Well, you can, like, go oh. back and watch the VOD. Oh, I know. I know, just the the, the thing is, is in my head, I'm just hearing... You're hearing the, like, pew pew pew. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I feel you. It's, it's a good game for that, honestly. Ooh, that is a nice missile. It is. It, it, triple, oh! Oh! Uh, over specialized in my opinion but it's not really good. something that i'm after these plasma mines though other oh, consumables hell yeah so these things are actually it's a thing attached to these asteroids i figured this out they spit out ore every so often <laughs> I think they, until they uh, they re they reach a certain point where it's empty. Otherwise, you could literally just sit there for an hour and just. Well, I mean, eventually interceptors are going to catch up to me. Remember? Yeah. So basically, it's a choice between it, do you think you can stick around and keep on fighting? That was dumb. Didn't you know? I'm getting a real big firefly vibe from this. Um I can see that now, thanks. I just made a big mistake. I didn't realize that was GMB. It looked like it was the pirate base. What the fuck? Okay, where's my jump out point? We need to go, we need to go, well, we need to go. Dumb. Yeah, no, he's... <laughs> you, you need to understand that the AI sounds like, well, that was dumb. Like... <laughs> it's like, I'm sorry! I didn't mean it. If on the next jump, if you don't attack them, you're... you're yeah, that's what he said, I know. Oh, but they're going to come for me. I also think it resets if you die, so, you know... If of course else, it resets you if you die. <laughs> if nothing else, at least you can accomplish something with your death. Maybe I can lure them into these Okar mm -hmm. fighters. Or maybe you, I'll you just... You can make them happy. You. you can make someone happy by dying. Or maybe I can just jump out. Let's just jump out. Let's not even fuck around with this sector. We made a mistake and we miss out on valuable things. <gasps> and that's just the way it is. Okay. Whoa. God, this game is pretty. Okay, what's, uh, let's have a look at what we can upgrade. K-1 
can't really do much to the hull because we don't have any nanobots. Uh, could upgrade the pulse laser for shield damage if we had some plasma. Or we could build a new one, but we don't really want to build a new one. This is interesting. Okay, GNB has reset. Oh, a trader! How does this work? I've been detected. Outlaws. Okay, how does the trader work? I guess do I just fly through this thing on top that looks like a... Cool. Okay. Uh, I... None of this is particularly useful. Sorry, buddy. I don't want any of your shit. What else can you tell me about this end of the galaxy? Incidentally, speaking of FTL, that uh, that GIF I linked you to of the uh, guy taking out a bridge with magic, I was looking into that game, and it is straight up just FTL with wizards. Well, that's kind of cool. It kind of, but it's kind of blatant in how it's designed. I mean, this is just FTL, but first person flying around. I mean, if you're going to put it that way, you know? I guess. So boosting, firing weapons, stuff like that takes energy. Wow, the jump gate's really pretty with the star behind it. The AI is also real quick to fill you in on some lore. I, I appreciate it. I also appreciate that the uh, enemy AI, I don't feel like I'm dogfighting, like, complete idiot ships, you know? You, you, you're not fighting against complete and utter rookies. They've probably scored some kills, but you're not fighting aces. Okay, we've upgraded our beam weapon. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Holy well, shit! Well, you upgraded your beam weapon. You can now beam when, beam proudly whenever you think about firing what it. What the fuck is this? That was terrible. Please ignore me, everyone. Oh, an outlaw missile turret? Um, no. Please stop shooting at me. I got my shields were up to that. Whoa. That is a purple beam. I love it! Okay, so this must be... This is a... I think an outlaw, outlaw base, I think. It is an outlaw, un outlaw base. But I don't really want to shoot at it, because last time I shot at something I thought was an outlaw facility, GNB turned out to be the owners for some reason. I mean, in this case, they got mi missile turrets all around it. I think it's safe. Oh, well, let's find out. Destroy. Well, it didn't turn GNB hostile, or at least not visibly hostile. And that's a lot of fuel, which is useful. I, I, I also kind of figured the AI would call you. The, yeah, the AI would probably do that same, like, well, that was stupid kind of thing. All right, let's fire off a scanning probe real quick, see if there's any more fuel to be picked up here. Oh, I see. Okay, the downside to upgrading the beam weapon is now it takes a second to charge instead of yeah. instant fire. But you know what? I'm okay with that does a lot more damage. It, it, yeah, to both shields and hull. This effectively replaces both of my weapons if I use it right. But it does, it needs to be said, use a lot more energy. Mm. So, a bit like an FTL, you gotta balance your weaponry with all your energy capabilities, you gotta balance it with your shield capabilities... Well, kind of. Like, it's in this, it's more like the energy is your stamina gauge. Think about it that way. So, uh, like, using my boosters well, uses energy. Uh, well, that firing. Sure it's just a hunk of crystal just sitting out of nowhere. And this is an asteroid belt. It probably got knocked loose. I'm willing to overlook it. Um, This probably plays pretty well with mouse and keyboard, but I have no complaints about the controller scheme that they have set up. I'm not no, something like this, you need a joystick. 
I keep on threatening ah, to, ah, ah. to to re-download and play through. Uh... Oh, I can never remember the name. Descent. No, not Descent. Elite Dangerous, I think. There's no playing through Elite Dangerous. You just play it. It's like an MMO. Oh, playing it, playing it again. But every time I do, I think, oh, I don't have. I am sad. <gasps> Nanobots. Oh shit! It's a gray goo scenario. We're all dead. I can think of worse ways to go. At least your death will be useful. Alright, the Gatling gun isn't even. It, its effective range is like a third of the distance of firing it at. There we go. Oh, a damage booster. Eh, we'll leave it. Let's head for that jump gate. Alright. I bet this is going to be pretty cool. Or not. Jumping suppressed. Reaching your destination. And where is that? It's still a long way to go. You will understand more when we get there. I would prefer more substance to your answers. What the fuck is that jump suppressor? Why does this vessel appear with a skull? This is to highlight a superior fighter. It will be harder to take down. We'll have to see about that. Oh god, the outlaws have the outlaws have better ships than they did last time. I would prefer more substance to your answers. There's a morale, uh, uh, not morality, uh, enemy morale system. Like, if you take down an elite, will the others scatter? Nope. <laughs> oh, man. That was hard. Shields are down. Oh, you're fucked, aren't you? <laughs> I'm dead already. <laughs> yeah, thanks, that's what I figured. But thanks for trying to help. That was a really hard encounter, okay? Yeah, you kind of got dicked there. Uh, we'll do one more run. Oh! Okay, if you want to launch, like, without using all of your credits, you lose whatever's left. Oh. So it's oh, like Rogue so Legacy. It's like Rogue Legacy. Yeah. The way you're meant to die is normal. Let's just, uh cold game. Well, I mean, the game knows you're gonna die. Why Why That's bother lying? I miss my pretty purple lasers. <laughs> oh, it, on the right, it said higher chance of finding blue... Guess blue... Main unlocked. Did you find them? Maybe. I don't feel ready for hard mode yet, though. That actually went halfway decently. Um... Alright. 
let's have a look around. I know there's a GNB ship over that way. Mineable crystal, but mineable gas. Tech container. Let's check out this tech container. Nano kit? Probably a bigger version of nanobots. I would hope. I could use that. So, uh, I have a question. How yeah, do you sure. mine gas by shooting it? It's frozen. It turns out is the answer. Makes sense. Where's a hole in this asteroid? There's some crystal inside that I want, but I can't find a way in. <laughs> Let me in! Ah, there it is. Ah! Wow, the game just let me get away with some shit. <laughs> it didn't penalize me when I ran into that asteroid. A very pretty game. Yo, there's dark matter over here? And some credits in that container. Alright. Not bad, right? Not bad. Go ahead and jump I, out. I, I do love the fact that you just picked up dark matter. Yeah, I'm a little concerned. I, I, isn't that supposed to be, like, massive? Incredible. I, I mean... Shit. I mean... Yeah. I'm like, sure it's fine. Of, of, like, how the hell is your ship even still moving heavy? I have good engines. Leave me alone. <laughs> Outlaws up there. Mineable ore. And it looks like those outlaws are getting into some shit with the G and B. Hey, fuckhead. That motherfucker shot down my missile. What is this? Bro, as heck. Ooh, God, no. <laughs> I don't like that. I think this is the remains of... Ooh, ooh, ooh! Mmm! You just saw the Daredevil module, huh? Yeah! <laughs> uh, that was... That, that's spooky. That's scary. I like the idea. I like that they give you... that. There's there's a chance to get shit like that. What? Oh, these are full full-on mining lasers! This is an actual mining rig, not just a ship. I want to take a look. Heavy missile. Yeah, right? I salvaged the heavy missile. Spoilers. Mm. <laughs> this is cool. Understandable. You've not really bumped into anything that's really big. You've mostly been bumping into smaller ships. I mean, I know that there enemy. are larger enemy ships that can show up, but I haven't actually had any reason to be afraid of them yet. You know, they haven't shown up for me. Yeah. Of course, I haven't gotten very far yet. Hi, Joe. How's it going? I know there was more 
ore around here somewhere to get gas from. Alright, it was over by the GNB facility, which... Mm, can't say I'm thrilled about potentially missing and hitting something from GNB, but... Ooh, arguing with an anarchist, he says. Good times. Maybe bad times. Okay. Uh, up or down? Mm, let's go down. Whoa, I'm in orbit. Over a planet. Fucking sick, dude. Alright, I've upgraded the pulse laser. Um... Yo, this is a binary system, too. Check this out. This is fucking sweet. This feels like a good place to set off a scanner probe. I was right. Ooh. Greenish. Really, Commander? What? Really, Commander? Just remembering a little Easter egg from Mass Effect 2. Oh, when you fired a ton a of probes. Probe. No, no. When you, when you probe, uh, it, it's one of the planets in the solar system. Oh, yeah. Okay, I remember now. It's like, really, Commander? Well, that was... And the second time, she doesn't even she doesn't even say anything, just probing Uranus. I need to boost around this asteroid just... to let my shields recharge. The best part is she sounds so disappointed. Yeah, I remember now. It's just like, I thought you were better than this Shepard. How could you? She obviously hasn't been paying much attention. <gasps> ah, Captain Shepard. Captain Kirk Credits. just did it. Gotta get my credos. Woo. These light missiles, now that I'm really getting the hang of them, I'm really into it. Okay. That's right, I was investigating this because it appears to be a blown out facility. I'm pretty- oh god! Into that. The the flight controls are the on the controller that the um, engines are on the left trigger, which is really hard to feather <laughs> for me. Mm -hmm. Though you can, but I just wind up jamming it every so often, and that's where I'm like, Ugh! and I run into stuff. <laughs> it's because my finger like spasms. Ooh, wow. You are acquiring a taste for cast offs. Um, dude, I have obtained. You have obtained stuff. You'll see. <laughs> oh, I don't know what the coil gun is. Thermo gun. Okay. So the coil gun. It's like a, it's a railgun. Sniper rifle. Yeah. Very good. Let's try it out. A thermo gun. Nice. Doesn't even use a ton of energy. I don't know if this game has an ending, to be honest. Um. Oh, the thermo gun too is an enhanced version. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, so what I think I'm going to do... I'm going to keep the coil gun and switch the thermo gun into the pulse laser slot because we're still experimenting and this time we might actually make it past the uh, first sector in the second area. Oh, you can charge up to 10 shots instead of just firing pew 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 pew. Yeah, so let's let's try that out. Ooh. And they apparently home in on target. Ah! Did you piss off GMP again? I don't know what to do about this. Maybe not. I swear I saw a thing called drone server somewhere here. Where'd it go? You did. Where is it? Inside the superstructure. That you might have destroyed it. I might have gotten it. I'm hacking this communications hub. Hey, you got 750 credits for destroying 750 the 750 Yep. Space Buckazoids. You gotta get it right. B wasn't Buckazoids the name of the currency in Space Quest? Nice and simple. Yep. Roger yeah. Wilkos. I, I think it was Space Buckazoids, but it might be just Buckazoids. So this uh, this game randomizes your pilot's name each time you start a new run. I'm hoping that there's some Easter eggs in the pilot names. This is pretty cool that you can just fly into these superstructures. Mhm. Mm that was, I think, one of my favorite moments in um in X-wing Alliance, actually. Uh, the first time you even get the idea that you can do that, you're you're basically sent out to destroy an experimental reactor system. Uh, and they say, okay, now then, you can just wear down the outside and destroy it. But that's boring. It'd take, like, hours. So there's a panel over there. Destroy it, fly your ship into the station, and destroy the reactor core. And then later on, you end up doing it again as you fly through the Death Star. And that shit was just the tightest shit. Yeah, I'm... Sounds pretty cool. Fuck. Whatever. I noticed that there are, uh, your... Uh, your coil gun appears to be like on a gimbal of some sort. Yeah, a little bit. Which is fine. You know, things like this, they would need to have a little bit. Oh! Oh, Elite has aliens. Oh, did they release the aliens finally? They've only been teasing them forever. Oh god, I'm out of energy. Um. So, I, I have to ask, are they the Xenomorph-style aliens? Well, just... it's, it's elite, so they can at least fly ships, because... Yeah. Otherwise, there'd be no gameplay. Of course, oh, elite, elite didn't have gameplay for the first couple of years, so... I'm just saying... Uh... <laughs> I like Elite Dangerous, I do. It's a neat concept. It just, is. You know... It, I either make it an MMO with well, PvP, or... Yeah, it does die. have PvP. Whoa. Do I want this Gatling gun? Oh god, it's the Leer all over again. So, in, in Sword of the Stars, you... you I, the I remember stars. the Leer, yeah. Yeah, the Leer, space dolphin Nazis. The good old Gatling gun has been used for decades and still enjoys an excellent reputation. Yeah, I bet it does. 
for, for those of you unaware, the Lear in Sword of the Stars are these hippie, hippie, hippie. It's a, basically a hippie race of, of empaths and shit. Oh, and it's spelled L-I-I-R. Yeah, because, you know, it's space, so fuck you. <laughs> also, their ships are full of water, but they're extra massive. Yeah, because they're whales. They well, dolphins. Well, whatever. Space dolphin whales. But anyway... <laughs> they're um, assholes. That's what they are. Yeah, they are. They are those. They they are some of the nicest Look at race. Look the, the nicest race. Their AI will even, if you ask for help, they might even give it to you without asking anything in return. But if you piss them off, they've never heard of no Geneva. Never heard of no ban on biological or chemical weapons. They will hunt your entire race down and exterminate you. Alright, what have we got from the trader? Do I want to trade 18 scrap for this plasma? How much scrap do I have? Uh, 25. They also, uh, it, it also was revealed in Sword of the Stars 2 that, in fact, the big bad evil race that caused mm, everything really useful. to go okay. wrong in the first game was directly responsible because direct, directly a response to the leader's uh, older members deciding, you know, getting too old to die, too old to survive on this planet sucks. I'm just going to launch myself up into fucking space and I'm going to force all of the lessers of my race to, to forcefully create ships to do that. Yeah, plasma's kind of hard to find, so I'll take that. Oh, and there's some mineable anyway. ore here. How nice. Anyway, sorry about that. Yeah, whatever. I, Joe I, wanted I, I to really hear it. Like, Whoops. I know. I really like Sword of the Stars. It's a really good game, in my opinion. It's basically space Who's fighting me? Oh, car. But not the second one. The second one is... I'm sorry, the second one is... A mild you disaster. They were yeah, you could see what they were trying to do. Whoa. They were trying to pick it up. They were trying to... I'm taking damage! You know... Yeah, I know. I know I'm taking damage. New, but... It's, it's just a crapshoot. Time ext... Oof. Time extender mark two. The fuck is this? Stop shooting at me. Ooh. Like, in the first game, you could just send the scout ship out to go somewhere. In Sword of the Stars 2, in order for you to send that, ta that scout ship out, you have to go and, like, get a fleet together with supply ships and cargo ships and command ships. You can't just say, hey, you, Captain, I want you to take your ship, fly over there, and scan that planet. It was a waste. <sighs> oh, you got a third-person view. Cool. Yeah. It's pretty neat. Oh, God. I'm sure it's <sighs> that useful without the uh, crosshairs. Crosshairs are there. Oh, I missed them. Yeah. You can see how fucked up my ship is, too. Mm. Fire the missiles! Okay. Let's go. I think we've exhausted all the entertainment there is to be had in this system. Wait, maybe not. What, what exactly does the time extender do? I missed that. It slows down time. Oh, wow. Makes it easier for you to react to something? It, it's just a straight up time slow. Ah. Bullet time, but in space. Is, is, is breathtaking. Hostilities only you might want to use that nano injector. You're shit pretty fucked up. I did. Table. The demilitarized zone was created as a buffer zone, monitored by the Oka authorities. Only time will heal the rift between the species. Okay. There's not really anything inside of this superstructure for me to take. Wait, maybe there's. Oh, it 
goods down there. There sure are a lot of valuable goods lying around. Not much attention was paid to clean up after the war, but we're helping in our own way. <laughs> I like this AI. All right, let's go. Let's let's hit up this jump gate. It's like Marvin if he actually had some sort of drive to do anything. You, All you know, right. You could um, you know, even if you have the same thing, you can still scrap it and get things from it. That's uh, true. I forgot. I was nervous about more Okar showing up. Jumping suppressed. I'm not happy about that. That's not what I like. That isn't what I want to know. Ah. Whoa, that guy just did a ramming maneuver. Freighter that you just rammed. No, it wasn't. Uh, fire. Okay. Once more into the breach. Because I bet the suppressor's on this elite fighter. That slow-mo is crazy useful. Mm -hmm. And lets you see some really pretty shit. Yep. Okay. Oh. Where was I? Right. I need to find the jump suppressor. Maybe it's on this thing that just screams space station. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just talking out my ass here. A direct monetary reward for your endeavors. Whoa. There are mines around this. Please. Whoa, hello. All right.
Christ. Um, up or down? Uh, let's see. Uh... Alright. This place is really pretty. It concerns me deeply. Yeah, you're to the point in the game where pretty, it can be very terrifying. Pretty concerns me. What's going on? My instruments are acting up. These clouds are made of highly dense and supercharged particles. They are interfering with the sensors. Oh, that's just what I need. Oh, good. That's just great. Is this... Ah! Let's go closer to the big ship. I'm sure that won't backfire at all. Where'd it go? this oh it's just a trader there's like 800 credits just chilling out right here too I wonder if he's grateful for if that's the payment for you saving his ass I don't know plasma torpedo Unguided? Yeah. Don't need anything like that yet. Um... This sensor impairment thing is really fucking with Burns. me. For the fucking bird. I'm really enjoying it though, like and it's hard to argue with how good looking the area is. Oh yeah, this this is Oh, G and B mining drones. And the G and B fighter, which means anything I find in here is likely to be property of the G and B corporation. Like this thing. Of course I can't tell until I get like crazy close. I don't know. Tractor Beam Mark III. No. The slowdown is too useful for that. I'm not giving up my shield, because... <laughs> not that good at this game. Okay. Let's, uh, let's head out. Fucking A. Yeah, also, that's... That's not really uh, super duper important. I mean, okay, you have a higher range for picking things up. Hooray. I mean, I could see that being useful. But uh, it's not useful for what I'm doing right now. I'm not being jump suppressed. And, um... Fucking shit. Take my eyes off the screen for half a second to look at something else. This place sure sees a lot of action. The Demon Shy Zone is the boundary established between colonial and Okar claims after the war. The buffer zone is intended to last until a longer peace can be settled. Since the Okar had prior claim, they hold authority over the zone. The treaty stipulates no colonial fleet presence, although there are colonial mining interests at work in the area. And then That's a Corvette. The outlaw element. Of course. Look at the sheer amount of fire coming off that thing. Waiting. 
got an access key of some sort. It did. Holy shit, that is a lot of fire. Yeah, it is. There's an asteroid to hide behind. I just want to get a good look at it. I don't think I can fight it. <laughs> you know? But I want to look. <laughs> oh shit. Um, I'm out of missiles. I'd better build some more. Because those have been crazy useful. Without the shield charged drone and shields might could. Maybe. Oh, it has friends. Oh, it has friends. It's also an elite. I'm gonna warp out. I'm not dealing with this right now. <laughs> I'm not fucking with that thing. Are you kidding me? Did you see that thing? I took that shit out with that. My day. Okay. Jump gate is in this sector. I see some GNB light fighters and stuff. and I think a freighter, maybe? This is a good place to explore. Probably. No enemies on sensors yet, at least. Although... We know how that wound up last time. Yep, there's one. Ah, oh, crystal. Oh, I need it. Ah! Oh yeah, you don't get to leave, friend. You pissed me off. Uh, okay. What else is going on here? That's a GNB resource transport? I want to look at that. Let's see, because the ship designs in this game are pretty cool, too. So this is like a GNB facility. Yeah? Yeah. Outlaw Scout. Enemies in range. Ooh, a blueprint for the Gatling too. Whatever that does. Let's see. I know it I know it means that I can build one. The question is, whoa! Okay, hold up. This place is protected. They're on to me. By a great many mine uh mines. And um so what I'm wondering is if the blueprints are persistent, because it makes a big deal out of them either way. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. Yeah. Oh shit. Missile impact. Is there another turret? What is this? Oh, gel and scrap over late. Okay, so what's going on in here that it's got such a heavy guard? It doesn't look that important. Shield Mark Two. Nice. Okay. Secure container. I wonder if I can. Isn't that what your access key is for? Yeah, I'm wondering. I have to be very careful when I come out, though, because that's the side of the structure that the minefield was on. 
Right. Hey, I will be right back. Yeah, transmitting key. Cool. All right. Ooh. Oh, wow. It's full of goodies. Combat drone. Huh. Oh, I can build more. Oh no. I can't. Darn. I forgot how this works. Can I upgrade my thermo gun? Like more shield damage, maybe? Or, uh, what do I want to do? Too many options. Um, we'll upgrade the thermo gun for shield damage. Alright. Um, no, actually, I won't. Um, I'm gonna hold on to my current inventory. Joe, are you still there, man? What's going on? Or did you get your pizza out of the oven? Right, let's get to the jump gate. Oh, hold up. What's that? Resource transport. Okay. Off we go. Let's see what we got here. I am back. Oh Jesus! Your general sense of amazement oh Jesus! Distract you from the more pertinent dangers. Are we any closer to our mm. destination? I mean, I think I'm a great guy too, but Sean. There's a uh, plasma storm. Mm. Oh Jesus! I picked up a combat drone, and yes, the access key worked for getting me into that thing. I figured that. Where's that shield charge drone at? I I very much think that this this AI is trying to lead you someplace that it doesn't want you to go, or rather that you don't want it to go. It's trying I'm, to lead you somewhere you don't want to go. I'm sure. Whoa, that guy's got like a directional because, shield going on. Because it continues to refuse to explain where the hell it's leading. It's been catty this entire time, it's true. Yeah, look at this. This is really, really interesting looking. It makes me very afraid. Well, as long as you have shields, the plasma storm shouldn't bother you. That's assuming a lot of things. Oh, there's two missile turrets. Yep, there went your shields. Oh yeah, you weren't here when I picked up the combat drone. No, I was not. Where are these missiles coming from? Ah, there's the turret. There are several turrets here. Guarding what, exactly? You don't just set ah, up... So... You don't just set up three Can... missile turrets for no reason. Yeah, that's what Can I thought. Can you reclaim... Can you reclaim the turret, uh, the uh, attack drone? I don't know. Or is it a one-time use thing? Well, I sure hope you can. <laughs> I 
I mean, it's it's not like you uh, needed to save it for anything special. It's just I don't know where it went. It seems to you were kind of it seems to have fucked off. Uh, so I'm guessing that it got shock blown. rifle blueprint. Yeah, yeah. I'm guessing what happens with the drone is that it got taken up by the missile turrets. Because mm. that's something I've noticed is that missiles are an excellent weapon against those. Ooh, a freighter wreck. I will have to be trying to get this, because this is fucking awesome. Yeah, that's kind of why I wanted you here when I streamed it, was to see what you thought. And to give you my impressions of it. I've been hankering for a good space game. One with an actual, you know, story and things to do. Just, okay, you're in space now, now what? Eh. Corrosion missile? You've been good to me, Coil Gun, but it's time for you to go. Because this new Gatling 2 is pretty sexy. What? Shit just warped in. What the fuck is that? Fuck that thing! It was fucking stasis webbing my ship. Where was that wreck at? I mean, there's a lot of debris here, so... Ah, there. You get the fuck away from me, outlaw webber, piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> I feel justified in being upset about that. What is this? Yeah, kinda. <laughs> Nothing really valuable right here. 11 scrap is worth going a kilometer out of my way for. Because <laughs> scrap, like many of these games, is like a base item in a lot of recipes. Yeah. Okay. It fits, it fits in so many ways. I think I've spent enough time here. Let's check out the next sector. And hope there's not a Corvette there. I know that there are black holes in this game, but we haven't seen one yet. Okay. Uh... Mm -hmm. Uh, to be quite frank, I think it's better for you if you don't end up seeing one. Yeah, up or down. Eh, let's go down. Die! 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 Hit your burners, pilot! <laughs> this is just enough. <laughs> okay. That that still is one of my favorite Whoa. cold starts to a mission in Descent Free Space. There's a Corvette. This big boy looks dangerous. An Oka Corvette. It is indeed most very likely to be hazardous to your general well-being. <laughs> it is indeed most very likely to be hazardous to your general well-being. Hmm. So the question is, do I try to fight it or not? Oh, the... Oh, I see how this works. The corrosion missiles bypass shields and do, like, poison damage almost. That's kind of cool. Hello? Hello. Ah, there you are. I am here. I've not left. I didn't hear you saying There's anything been, uh... for a bit there. Also just keeping an eye on things. Incidentally, this this game looks like it's very streamable because I have had this this has been a very smooth stream. 
I've not seen any quality issues, no stuttering, no nothing like that. Fuck ass, oh god. Now the trick with things like this is if you can take out a turret and get yourself a uh, nice little window where they can't hit you. Oh, it has shield charge drones like swarming it. Ah, so you probably want to just boogie on out. I want to get away from it for a minute. Let my shields recharge. If it's going to cheat, so am I. <laughs> okay. AI is complaining about you doing this. It's like, you're distracting me! Yeah, right. Alright. Right, why are you engaging a Corvette? You're in a fucking Starfighter. It'll be you fine. Stop, you're distracting me! It'll be fine. Do something about these drones. Oh, I'm, I'm also, considering the pew pew nature of it, I'm really getting a last. And that's a good thing. Did it just fucking, like, jump? I think it did. I think it jumped away. Like, still within system, but... It fled. It moved, because I got close. Well, yeah, I mean, they got engines. It's not like they're just gonna sit... No, I know, but... Huh. I mean, just because the Star Destroyers... I hate drones. I also like how you're you're blatantly just taking cover. Yeah, well, you know. <laughs> like it's a first-person shooter. It's not like I've got a lot of options. Please, let me get behind this rock. Okay. I can't even see the fucking turrets. I think you can disable them. Oh, it's chasing oh, no, after there, me there's now. One. There's one. There, there's one on the bottom of the nose. It's fucking coming for me now. <laughs> it's, it's firing like... green snot lasers at you. It knows it's got me on the ropes. Fortunately for it, I'm the player, which means I can do things like scum it out. <laughs> yep. I, I imagine before the day is through, we'll see plenty of, of you scumming things out. Save scumming, that is. Whoa. Why would I save scum this game? Oh, no, no. Oh, no, it yeah. fucking moved again. Yeah, it moved to try and deny you cover. Well, shit. I can't. I can't get through its shields, for the record. Yeah, I noticed. You you, you need something that's a bit more uh, capable of punching through shields. I thought I would be fine, but apparently not. So we're just going to leave. Oh man. You know what game should have been awesome, but unfortunately wasn't? I can think of a great many. XCOM Interceptor. Uh, the development of that game is like a case study in fucking up a concept. <laughs> yeah, it's just... How could you fuck that up? You've already got an established franchise, you go one into space. I, I think the biggest thing that messed with me on that is they didn't program physics right in the game. There's actually a weapon in the game that fire if you're going too fast if you fire it. Even though in the real world if you're going at a certain speed you're adding that speed yeah. to the weapon. In in the game, it's like you're going this speed, the weapon goes at that speed, fire the weapon, it blows you up. Yeah. So you have to literally, like, either fly backward or stop to fire the gun. I 
I mean, honestly, this credit this looks this looks honestly a much more like what I really wanted from No Man's Sky. This has very little in common with No Man's Sky, even in the promotional materials, and you know it. I mean, I, I, we were told that you could do all this shit in space. Not exactly. Yep. Several, several times we were told, oh, you don't even have to land on space. I don't remember the you don't have to land on ever. Um, shit. Distant sounds of furious Googling. I mean, do what you want. You might be right. I'm just saying I don't remember it. This is pretty cool. You see in this? This binary planet system here. Whole damage mod blueprint. Oh shit, I think I know what I can do with that. Yeah! Alright. So it does work the way I thought it did. Cool. Very cool. Give me the crystals. I was like, I'll just do one more run, and now I'm like, doing really well, you know? <laughs> Stop googling No Man's Sky details. Aww. Get back here. Well, I will mention only one thing that kind of is fucking hilarious to me. Power cells and nanobots. Yeah, go on. Uh, No Man's Sky designer quietly leaves Hello Games to Star Citizen. Uh... <laughs> Alright, that is funny. Oh, I wasn't that disappointed by No Man's Sky. I mean... I, I, I know, I know, man. I know. I, I, I just, like it, too. I just feel I just like I like got... For... I just feel like I got what I expected out of it. But... Clearly I'm in the minority. Well, I think the main issue I had with it is, well, I paid $60 for it, and it's basically Minecraft in space, and I already had that. It's not Minecraft in space, though. It's not even. The gameplay has... no, the gameplay doesn't really have that much to do with Minecraft. You Whoa, go around, there's... Explore, you we do not have enough fuel on board for the next jump. There's a volcanic planet uh, down I there. I need Go around, more gas. you gather resources, you craft things, you upgrade your gear. You're right, Daisy is a Minecraft clone. <laughs> and so is this. I'm just all saying. Alright, alright. <laughs> like. Alright, this better reveal a fuel source too. Oh, fuck! I'm pretty sure that in order to make sure you're not completely fucked, there's always going to be at least enough fuel for one thing, but you might have to get it out of destroying enemy ships. Maybe. Fuck these drones! Uh, Daisy is technically being devved, I believe. Though the, the thing that I, uh, that I, uh, that apparently shit the bed to my knowledge was Rust. Like, apparently it had all this bunch of potential, a lot of fun, and then they added an experience system. 
I don't know and made it impossible. It. Yeah, I know. Um, this the, is just what the I've one heard that I know. Game. The one that I know I've recently heard people saying really squandered its potential was uh, Ark, because they decided to, re to release a DLC package while they're still in open fucking Early beta. Access. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's... It's dumb when they do that. I understand that they needed money because they got shafted on some legal thing, but still, it's not maybe not the best way to do it. Hey, Tyre, by the way. I meant to say hi and got distracted talking about other games. Where? Come on, there's got to be more fuel in this sector than that. There's a container over here. Yeah, I'm trying out this thing that lets me stream to YouTube and Twitch at the same time. Um, because you mentioned that. I don't know if I like it yet. I like that. But because I'm not partnered on Twitch, it does mean that people that need quality options can get them. Like on YouTube. On YouTube, yeah. Um. My fiance, specifically, hmm. who, despite now having good internet, is still under a data cap, and you know, downloading source streaming video really kind of fucks that up. It's the one thing that I wish Hitbox did. I wish that Twitch did that Hitbox does. Oh, am I? Uh, your stream. Huh. Well, that's kind of cool. I must have forgotten and left that on. Because all I've got open is the Twitch chat. Let's see. Da, 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 da. Yep, you're on Hitbox. I believe it. Yeah, tire for hire. Howdy ho. Congrats on the job thing. <laughs> yeah, thank you, by the way. Where did that... Oh, boy, we're getting some early access vibes here. That crystal, I think, wound up inside of that asteroid. Hmm. I don't have enough gas to go anywhere. I like. I don't want to attack I'm, G and B. I, I'm gonna hop over to Hitbox if that's okay. I mean, it's it's cool. I'll keep the Twitch chat open though. You can do what you want. Um. <sighs> you know, I keep on threatening myself that I'm gonna start streaming again. Could just stream with me until you're ready to. Where is? Yeah, I could. Is that just like squishy background rock, or can I actually go there? Go to there? No, it doesn't seem like it. I don't want to attack G and B, but they, they might be the only source of fuel in this sector that I haven't exhausted already. Okay, pop out chat. There we go. That would make me feel really shitty if that was the case. But honestly, if uh, if I really had to pick the uh, the survival game that I like the most is it'd be still be Seven Days to Die. They've been doing a lot of work, and you can customize the game so much. Okay, I can't have just like soft locked here. Hold on. You're going to scan again. If you would rather that I switch to Hitbox, I guess I could. I just like Twitch because it's the service that everybody uses, you know? Uh, well, well, we could keep on doing this, just have it on everything. Yeah, I don't like splitting the chat, though. So what we do is we ha set up a Discord and have it connected on every server saying, hey, this is the F chat. No, that's... no. <laughs> you know Alright, um... I'm, I'm mostly just here on... Also, what we could do is uh, people who are, like, in the, the chat with you, we stream on Hit... Uh, watch Hitbox, but keep the Twitch chat open. Yeah, that's up to you guys. I don't know... 
I guess I could just switch back to Hitbox full time, but Twitch has so many nice features. I I agree. <laughs> Let's just leave it on Twitch for now, and we'll figure shit out later. Something broke. Because I tried to jump without having enough fuel, it broke my fucking primary weapon. And I don't have enough materials to fix it. That's just fucking great. What a thing to break. What is this? This is a service station. Do you know what happens in the service station? I thought I asked the questions here. Do you? Uh, refuel, trade Whoa, points. please stop shooting at me. Research ship, looks like. Ah. Uh, oh, refuel. Oh, you. Well, at least you got fuel now. Too bad about that whole broken primary weapon. I mean, I can still use them, they just don't do as much damage. Oh, well, that's good. I really so can't hang out in this fucked. sector. So you're not completely fucked, just mostly fucked. There's another Corvette. What would this plasma field do if I went to it? Probably kill you. Oh no! That's convenient. The ship just harvests it. Oh cool. Just have to dodge shots from that Corvette. <laughs> Ah, Christ's sake. Yeah, we were just discussing earlier... Uh... Fuck. My Corvette is very determined to get my attention right now. So the thing that really gets me about not having a joystick right now is I have, I, I, I had one of the old force feedback joysticks. And if I had an adapter okay. for it to connect to my computer, I would be totally on that shit. Okay. Escape that s entire sector. I'm in sector four. Yay. Huzzah! You're that much closer to your demise. Yeah, I'm not feeling great about my odds here. Well, where there's life, there's hope. Tell me this will all be worth it. We are heading somewhere. This will all be worth it. We are heading somewhere. What? What? Oh, shit, you sassy bitch. It's not a great time to get into a fight. This engagement is not going in your favor. Is it not going in my favor? I hadn't guessed. Mineable fuel. 
Yeah, we were talking earlier about uh, Elite Dangerous and the joys of using a joystick and all that uh, tire. Alright, a few will fully mined. Why was I going this way? Other than because it was away from the big cluster of enemies that caught up to me anyway? Honestly, there may not have been a better reason than that. <laughs> Now that I think about it. Why are we going this way? Oh. Because we're going that away. Ah, oh, nano injector. Ah, oh, bless. Okay. Oh, I, I don't oh, I don't need it quite yet, but I will. <laughs> the way things are going. Just careful, don't want to leave track marks on your ship. Really? That's what you're going with? Really? I, I, I panicked. I mean, how, how do you make a joke about a nano injector? I don't know. You just don't. Um, yeah, tired. VR looks... Honestly, I, I'm not super excited about it for, like, a lot of the games that I've seen demoed or, or modeled with it, but I think space games are where it'll really shine. Yeah, it's basically the only thing uh, flight that it sims. really works for. Flight sims and, and space games, because either you have ridiculous... <laughs> Euro truck simulator. <laughs> either you have ridiculous setups where you're having to aim guns with goofy-looking joysticks, or you're sitting down, and but then you're having issues keeping your hands on the keyboard or the joystick or the controllers or whatever. Because if it drifts off, you can't see correct. Oh, shit. Cooling down phase incomplete. Yes, all rare. Also, I do apologize that I keep on pausing while I'm speaking. It sounds like I'm operating on some sort of broken tape recorder or something. I suppose I really should work on that more. Whoa. Alright, well. <laughs> I... <laughs> I tried. Oh, I can buy a new ship. Well, that's good. Tried so hard, got so far, but in the end, it didn't even matter. I'm gonna buy the gunship. Because that little scout looks cute, but, uh... Whew. Alright, and I think I can get the sector scanner finished upgrading now. Scout also is probably just fast as fuck. Oh, I'm sure. It has a cloaking device on it. I don't think you saw that. Oh, no, I did not. Okay, let's try out the gunship real quick. I'm sure it's going to be slow and clunky and kind of awkward. Oh, the cockpit's different. Nice. I'm glad. Your assistance has been requested I was looking on the early access thing, and I know that they're planning on adding two more ships. Yeah, least. they they just said that, right? Yeah, something like that. Okay, so this starts with some different toys. I want to see the size of this thing. 
It's not quite Corvette sized, but it's definitely something. It's a lot bigger than your original ship. Yeah, I like it. I have a Gatling turret. It fires automatically. Oh, nice. <laughs> Let's fucking go. <laughs> I don't have any shields on this thing. I just realized. Yeah, instead you got a turret. Shields would still be nice. Presumably it's more heavily armored. It's definitely heavily armored. Still. Aha! Can't see the second one there. Yeah, it does have more hull. It's just damn, not having a uh, not having a shield is a little rough. Can I create a shield? No. Hopefully, you'll be able to like just straight up. Maybe you can find like an automatic repair thingy that just slowly repairs it over time. Maybe. Giant shipwrecks. What are they? Colonial fleet warships overwhelmed by Okar fighters during the war. You will find such wrecks scattered throughout the demilitarized zone. Yes, by the way, this is very Rogue Legacy in the like each run leaves you with some money. And also that money does not persist. If you don't spend it, it goes away. Um and yeah, this ship feels very uh Make a mistake, you're gonna feel it later on. Feels very potentially punishing. I would have been a lot more careful if I'd realized that I didn't have any fucking shields, but I didn't notice in time. So I took a bunch of damage that I really didn't need to. Who is responsible for leaving all these containers floating around? Fallen off the back of a long distance freighter, in all likelihood. Fallen off the back of a long distance freighter? <laughs> oh, that's, that's so stupid, it's funny. I like that. Okay, so I've got a better idea of what each of my weapons does now, which is good. That mineable crystal is not here, is it? It's on the other side of this asteroid. Maybe? Maybe it's inside of the asteroid. I, the game bugged out again. Whoa! Ah, no, there it is. This flak cannon is excellent for harvesting resources. Oh, and I can start some hull repairs now. Alright, uh, I think I'll hit up that plasma field over there and then jump to the next area. Well, I don't know about hit and run with a ship this big though. feels a little off to me. I really like the flat cannon noise. Rob, I wish you could hear it. <laughs> I'll turn it up. Because Tyre is right, it's very chunky. 
I want to see the warp from third person. Oh, that's kind of clever. That is a good comparison, the Quake Railgun. This ship is cool. I like that this plays completely differently to the uh, Interceptor, too. You know? Okay. This game is real good. I actually got this on sale on Humble Bundle right now, by the way. Or on Humble Store. Um, oh, I heard that up. That flat cannon then. It's like a... <laughs> kind of... Thunk. 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 Like a nail noise. gun. It's so good, dude. It's All right. just like a nail gun. I'm going to quit this. I said one more run, and I unlocked a new ship, and I had to try out the new ship. But now that's done. I'm, uh...